Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. Today's video is on how to use your smart cruise control in the 2021 Kia Sorento. I have in front of me here an EX Plus 2.5 turbo all-wheel drive and Glacial White Pearl. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the smart cruise control works very similar to the regular cruise control like I did in the other video. And on the right side of the steering wheel here, you have your mode button. So now when you go ahead and you press that button, it turns on cruise and it sets the speed for you. So one button to do both of those functions. Once your speed is set, again, you can uh, bump it up or down a couple kilometers an hour with the plus and the minus. If you needed to temporarily disable it, you can always press this button in to pause it and then press it again to resume your speed. Now the extra button in this case is this button here. So this button you can press, um, and I'm gonna show you uh, just a picture in the corner. Uh, when you press that button, you can adjust the distance that your vehicle is gonna stay between you and the vehicle ahead of you. So you have four different levels that you can choose from, and every time you press it, it cycles through. And because this is advanced smart cruise control, um, you are also able to use stop and go. So if there is a vehicle ahead of you, your vehicle will then bring you to a complete stop if need be. Um, and within three seconds, if that vehicle starts moving again, your vehicle will start moving. If it's any longer than three seconds, you may just have to tap the accelerator just to get a little bit of uh, uh, acceleration going and it will still resume the speed you originally set it to. The Advanced Smart Cruise Control uses the radar sensor on the front of the vehicle located just under the license plate. This is also used with the Advanced Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, so if this sensor gets blocked, the vehicle will tell you on the instrument panel that the features are temporarily disabled until it's cleared away and then the vehicle is reset. And to reset it, you would just turn the vehicle off and then on again, and then you're ready to go. And as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please make sure you hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with all of our videos. And please go ahead and give us a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All of the links are in the description below. Thank you very much, guys.